20 kilogram block A rests on a frictionless table. A cord attached to the block extends horizontally to a pulley at the edge of the table. A 10 kilogram mass B hangs at the end of this cord. We want to calculate the tension in the cord and the acceleration of the system when it's released. So a technique that I use for these types of problems often is unwrapping the system and creating an equivalent linear system. The pulley redirects the force of tension by allowing the string to bend. But we don't have to include the pulley in our analysis. So I'm going to make this my system. Now, block B will feel pulled downward by gravity. And so, in the analogy here, if this is block B and this is block A, then block B is being pulled to the right. Okay. There's going to be acceleration, so B will have an unbalanced force. And the force of tension will not be as large as the force of gravity. I'll draw that in this diagram as well. Now A will feel a tension force, which is as big as the force of tension on B. So let's draw that as well. Okay, these are the forces that matter when it comes to this system. The next thing I'll do is I'll calculate how big the weight of B is. For that, we would use the formula M times G. So, mass B is 10 kilograms. Multiply that by G. And we see that the FG now is 98 newtons. Now the FT that acts on A and the FT that acts on B actually cancel each other out. You can see one pulls to the right and one pulls to the left. So that force can't actually cause acceleration of the system. There's only one force that really causes acceleration on this system, and that is Fg. So now we want to apply Newton's second law. Newton's second law says the net force on the system equals the mass times the acceleration of the system. Now since I rewrote my system all in the x direction, I can make this the sum of forces in the x direction and I can solve for the acceleration in the x direction. So. Put 98 newtons here because that is going to be the net force on the whole system. We have to put the mass of the system into our equation. And that's 20 plus 10, that's 30 kilograms total. And now I want to solve for the acceleration by dividing.
It's 3.27 meters per second squared. So the idea here is that B is pulled on by Earth's gravitational field, whereas A is not. But because B has to tow A, that pull of 98 newtons is responsible for accelerating both B and A. And that's why the system doesn't fall at 9.8 meters per second squared. It's because not all the mass is being acted upon by gravity. Finally, let's see if we can solve for the tension. Now, in order to find the tension, we need a new choice of system. Before, I let both blocks be the system. The great thing about Newton's second law is we can apply it to any system of our choice. This time, I'm going to pick block A as the system because it has only one unbalanced force acting on it. So I'll do the net force on A equals the mass of A times the acceleration of A. That's how we would apply Newton's second law to just that block. Now the net force on the system is the tension force because it's the only force that's unbalanced. The mass of this block is 20 kilograms, and we know now that the acceleration is 3.3 meters per second squared. And the tension is 65 newtons.